everyone, it's Gidu, and in this video, I'm going to be opening up two shipments from Amazon Japan. Um, actually, they were the same order, but unfortunately, uh, for some reason, I got shipped separately, but then they arrived on the same day anyways, so I don't know. Um, also, I got like four packages in the mail today, and my dad was so mean. <laughs> he was like, how much stuff are you ordering? And I was like, I'm feeding my addiction, dad. Leave me alone. So we'll do the small one first. Because I believe I know what's in this one. Um, but yeah. So I just have a lot of stuff. Also, here on ice sweatshirt. Yeah. Ah, so I got a manga and a CD in this one. Which is great. So I'll just take everything out and then we'll go through it. This box is quite large. The shipping was quite expensive. I was mad. Um, the shipping ended up being like almost a third. No, wait, I think I made it cheaper because I got less stuff. I don't remember. Either way, I bought a bunch of amiibos. Wow, everything's just thrown in here. Nice packaging, dick bags. Fuck. Okay, so. Okay, let's just go through the Amiibos first. I got a few Amiibos, which are like, have intensely damaged boxes. Well, this one does. Um, wow, a bunch of my shit is really fucking damaged because they literally just threw it all in here. Like, literally, look, they just chucked it all in. Like, it's a fucking toy box with no, like, there was a bit of paper on top. I'm fucking angry. I'm probably gonna message them a bitch about it because I'm a little bitch like that. Um, anyways, it's kind of dirty. Um, as you can see, the side of the box is shredded, so maybe I will open her up. Uh, we got Zelda for Breath of the Wild because I just did just buy a Switch and I now own Breath of the Wild. So we gonna have Amiibos for it. I was debating whether to open them or not, and I'm like, oh, if I don't open them, what the fuck's the point of owning them? You know what I mean? And here's another one that is bent. This is Skyward Sword Link. His sword is really bent. Um, you can see the curve to that sword. I wonder if I could fix it if I took him out. Yeah, here is Skyward Sword Link. These are, of course, all the Japanese ones. Um, specifically because the Japanese ones are cheaper than the Canadian ones. Also, you can't, like, find any of these in Canada. Which is bullshit. Um, I also got a Twilight Princess Link amiibo. Again, the corners of the boxes are all fucked up, so maybe I will just open them. You don't know. And one more amiibo. I'm so mad about my books. I don't care so much about the amiibos, but my books are damaged. I'm going crazy. Um, so here is Rider Link. Uh, again, the corners are a little frayed and fucked up, but like, what am I gonna do? Um, yeah, so she, something from Amazon Japan, it's way more of a hassle to send it back and then get her shit back because it takes longer anyways. Um, I like that one a lot. I love the writer link. It's very nice. Very nice. Da -da 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 -da. Fuck, there's so much stuff. Uh, I'll open him next. Because there's this teeny keychain machine that I really, really liked a long time ago, but I was like, I can't justify buying it because it was like 12 bucks or something. And then I was on Amazon Japan, and then he sold out, like, at CD Japan, you know, my shop. Um, and then I seen that he was still available. Oh my god, he's so soft. He's so soft. He's so soft. Eh, look at him. Look at his little eyeballs. Look at his little eyeballs. Oh, he's so soft, guys. And his little keychain. Little keychain. He's got, like, a f little flip back legs, which I think is a little funny. I thought they were forward. But, like, whatever. It's so cute. And he's got a little metal thing on it that says... Love heart macachin. So cute. So cute. So cute. And he's so soft. He's so soft. Um, get this stuff up over there. Okay, so I also bought a another Vulpex, uh, Alolan Vulpex. Um, I think I might keep this one in the container because I do have an open one right here. I dropped her that I um, opened in one of my other CD Japan hauls. Uh, super cute. Well, Pix is my favorite, well, one of my favorite Pokemon, um, especially from when I was a child. So this is one. I also got, um, Dawn, not Dawn, <laughs> Midday version Lycanroc. Uh, 
This is about five dollars. So like, or like six dollars Canadian, I guess. This one was about four or three bucks Canadian. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, like not bad at all. So I got this one as well. I also got a little baby rock ruff, which is also around like three or four bucks. Uh, another cutie. Don't, why the fuck am I buying toys? What's wrong with me? Um, like actual toys. And then I got a fancy dawn? No, no, dusk. Dusk lichen rock. Because I didn't really even bother looking for the midnight form because I don't really care for the design all that much. Because um, I like four legged animals and not like two legged animals. But that's, that's like animal racist. I don't like, like the werewolfy. I like werewolves, but like four four legged werewolves. If that makes any sense, anyways. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then all my really fucking damaged manga. So this one I don't think is because it was packaged bad. This is just a bad fold. Um, unfortunately, this is volume one of. I forget what it was called. Um, it's by Nikoto Yonezo. Uh, oh. In the, uh, in, in the God's Arms. Yeah, in the God's Arms. So it is, I believe, related to the series uh, Michiru Heia, which is one of my favorite manga series, like, ever. Um, so that's volume one. Unfortunately, volume three is out of print, so I have to buy it used, uh, which kind of sucks, but what am I going to do? This one is still okay condition. That's nice. This one's not oh, okay. It's a little bent on the end. Look, I hate that. And their packaging in here was literally awful. But, uh, that's this one here. This is volume two. And then I have volume four in the next package. Um, so I also bought... One of my favorite novels from high school was called, um, Eleanor and Park. And there is a translated Eleanor and Park in Japanese, which would be really nice to practice, um, when I start reading more. So I think that'll be really fun to read. This one does have a bit of a crushed corner. And this book was a little on the pricey side. It was around like 22, 23 bucks Canadian. But the art in it is so pretty. It's so pretty. It's like painty, watercolory stuff. And it's quite a bit thicker than the Canadian... Or I keep burping, excuse me, <laughs> the North American version. But yeah, so that's going to be neat. I was, I've been meaning to buy this for a really long time. Um, just simple white cover uh, underneath this. But yeah, I've been, I've been wanting to buy this for so long and I just kept putting it off because it's, it's kind of on the pricey side. Um, but I'm finally happy to have it. It does have a like scrape right here if you can see. Although it's not a big deal. I'm just crazy. I'm trying to get over it very hard um and then i got this uh 18 plus um i have listened to this one before i enjoyed this one this is what's his name what's his name uh if you've ever seen kamisama kiss this is the voice actor for uh tomoe the main guy um but like 18 plus atome drama cd goodness so you know um i've listened to drama cds in a really long time i mean i have already listened to this one but i did enjoy this so i wanted to buy it um and i have another one in the series that i did order actually we'll just open this really quick um this is in the first package that i opened i ordered so much stuff it's not even funny Ooh. okay so this should be volume four here and then I will hopefully buy volume three at some point finding it. This is volume four. I haven't actually even read this series yet, but I'm kind of obsessed with this author and her art style. So I've like kind of been starting to collect all of her things regardless. Um, but yeah, and they're very pretty colors. So that is that. And it is BL if I didn't mention. Um, here is the other one. I forget this guy's name too. I don't think he's in a lot of anime or maybe he is, but I don't recognize his voice from anything. Um, but this one's fairly good as well. He has more of a, like a raspy kind of voice. Um, if you know what Tomoe sounds like, then you'll know what he sounds like. Except, um, R18 style. And then the last one I had also in this series is Yuki Ono, which plays the redheaded guy from Kuroko with the funky eyebrows, like one of the main guys. And, um, the main character in this boy is a professional wizard. He plays, like, the blue-haired guy who's the wizard. Um, but yeah. Anyway. So, there's more. So. so, I also got these because it was Nekoda Yonezo again, but I believe it's just, 
Um, partly her, or is this all her? This might actually all be her. Yeah, it is. Fuck yes. Because last time I bought a big one like this, it ended up being... She didn't even have a story in it. She did, like, the cover. But it had her as, like, one of the authors. So I was really mad because it was, like, 13 bucks, And I bought it. And it didn't have anything of hers in it. Um, and it was also in really shitty condition because it was really old. So this here, I don't know if they have volumes or if there's just, like, two separate ones. Because, well, that's fucked. Because um, there is two. And it looks like... I think it might be the same characters or different characters. I don't know. They're specials. So, like, here. And they're very thick. Um, but, yeah, more, just more stuff by her. I should check really quick to see if this one. I was very confused for a second. Ignore me. Um, but, yeah, her art style is so cute. I'm excited to flip through these. Anyways, um, I got these. This one is a little damaged. It's got a little tear on the obi. On yeah, yeah, on the obi. Um, but yeah, it's nice to have. I'm actually running out of space for the shelf. I keep all her stuff in, so we'll see. And then I did order two art books. I was going to order more, but I was also like, I can't afford this. So I haven't actually played that game yet. So this one's obi is kind of fucked a little bit. That's because they packaged it so shitty, um, and literally the other books were on top of it and pushing down, so not really much I can do. This is for, um, Code Realize. I think this is for one of the side games, though, and not the normal one. I was like, I thought I ordered one No, 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 I didn't order one more. I was going to, but then I decided not to, because it was, like, I think a design work, so it's mostly going to be sketches, and I wanted, like, the CGs right now. This is the only one that I believe I could find um, that was, like, their stuff. I don't think this is going to be the main game CGs. Like I said, I think this is going to be the side game, which is not here in Canada, so I'll kind of play it. <sighs> so I'm going to get spoilers. Um, but yeah, so this is this is one of these. Um, I can also do a flip through of this if you guys are interested. Oh, this is cute. Oh, this is cute and kind of sad. Um, oh. Yeah, but this is definitely not the main CGs. It's like one of the little side bonus games. But that'll be fun anyways. Um, I hope to get the original book with the original CGs from the main game eventually. Because I'm, I'm playing it right now and I enjoy it quite a bit. Um, it is very fun. I like the characters a lot. Um, I finished and played Impy's Root, which is the little redhead here. He's real sweet. He's a goofball. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed his root a lot. But it, like, it left a lot of open, like, plot holes. At the end, there was a lot of things left unanswered, and I was really mad. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Um, anyways. And then the last one I have, which also has a completely fucked Obi. Uh, like, it's completely torn. I own the game. Haven't played it yet. I don't even know, because I can't tell which art book this is for. As you can see, the completely torn Obi. Um... I mean, it's not the end of the world because it is just the Obi, but it still makes me mad because the Obis also, I think they make them worth a little more. Um, this is for Collar and Malice, or Collar X Malice. I have the game. It does have an English translation. I haven't played it yet because I'm still playing Code Realize and I've been in school and like busy with other games and whatnot. But that is this one. Um, so I don't, I know nothing about this game. <laughs> But I was like, oh, I have the game. I'm going to play it. The art style is really nice. I think it's the same artist who does... Actually, I don't know. I don't think it's the artist. It looks similar to the artist who does... <laughs> so it's not this one. Not. I don't think it's this one at all. It looks like the same artist who does... Um... Oh, what is it called? The vampire one. Um, Diabolic Lovers. I think it might be them, because the art looks very similar, but it also looks kind of similar to Amnesia, so I can't remember if this is the artist that does Amnesia, or at least a similar art style, because it like the art style looks very similar to Amnesia, but it could also be Double Covers, because I haven't played that one, but I know the art style kind of. But yeah, this one's really pretty, so I don't know if this is the original game, but it might be. Either way, I'm going to try not to spoil myself. Um... It would just be nice if they packed that a little better so these didn't get, like, completely wrecked in the box. Um, and was there anything I didn't show? No, I think that's it. So I'm sorry this video was so long. This was a huge-ass uh, Amazon Japan haul. 
I probably did not need like any of this. <laughs> but I can probably, I don't know. I am losing control of my life apparently. School starts and I'm like, let's spend all of my available money because I'm trash. I'm just tired. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching this. Um, if you're interested in seeing my social media or my affiliate links, I'll link those in the description below. If you purchase anything through my affiliate links, I get a small commission. Uh, it's through CD Japan and Tokyo Talk Mode. So thank you for all of you who have purchased through those links before. I really appreciate it. And if you purchase through those links again, or not so again, but if for all of you who are purchasing in the future, also thank you very much. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Of course, I will be linking full up throughs of these in the description below. They will not be up when this video comes up because I have zero time and a billion other art books to flip through. Plus, I'm not going to flip through this one yet anyways because I haven't played the game yet. So it's probably going to come real later. Um... Also, this will give me spoilers for, like, the side game, but that's okay, because I can't play it anyway. So, like, whatever. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye!